The way that I was told uh, that it was a form of weakness to rely on a woman, a very strong uh, and powerful woman, by the way, to do a job, I just couldn't believe I heard that in 2024. It was astonishing. I think every time anybody comes and speaks up at Waitangi, uh, it becomes unsettled. But I had a really great opportunity, and I'm very, very humbled that I was allowed to speak on the maho uh, in a pōhere where it's never happened before. For me, that's humbling not only for myself, but for my girls, uh, for my tipuna as well, to be given that opportunity. Mm. Now, some wanted to drown me out, and I think that more had to do not with what I was saying, but rather the fact that I was even speaking. I don't think that it matters whether it comes from Karen or myself, whether it comes from Brooke, from Laura, whether it comes from any of the Tane. What it means is that we have the opportunity to discuss, mm -hmm. to get that conversation going, and to hear and listen the up from, from and to the other side. We are here to listen, and we are here to move forward, and move this country forward as one, mm -hmm. respecting and understanding the treaty and what the articles mean, but allowing everybody in New Zealand to have the same tinoranga tiratanga. And I was very, very humbled to be given the opportunity to speak my truth, which is about my whakapapa and my heritage where I come from and the future that I want for my family, my children and the other children that are going to be growing up here in New Zealand.